Hey everybody, it's me Stacy here at Scrapbooking Made Simple, scrapbookingmadesimple.com and this is the next Saturday with Stacy YouTube class number 457. This class came about because of collaboration. <laughs> it really did. It was it was everybody pulling together and working together to make it happen from Stampendous to Sizzix to Hobby Gross, which is where one of the distributors, international distributors we do business with, and one of their brands is Simple and Basic. So I'm excited about today. I've got a worldwide launch from Sizzix. I've got dies from Simple and Basic, just a few of them, but a few that are wonderful. And then a whole collection from Fran at Stampendous that I got to help with. So I'm going to start with our winner winner chicken dinner and then I'm going to tell you a little bit about the collaboration that happened to make this class a reality <laughs> because it really does take a village. I, I, try to, I try to put things together that I think you're going to like but then there's that opportunity when, when well I'll get there. Okay, let's do winner winner chicken dinner first, shall we? <laughs> okay, so I've got two winners from last week, and that was YouTube 456, and that was the layering stencils with Creative Expression. Well, Creative Expressions had regular stencils, and Studio Light had the layering stencils, and oh, were they not beautiful. Oh my gosh, and affordable. We are all about keeping crafting affordable here. I mean, as long as I've been on YouTube, <laughs> It's been always keeping crafting affordable. And with the way things are getting priced these days, even, even stamps and dies and things like that, I mean, we totally get that manufacturers have to increase their pricing. I, just the transport to get them here is crazy. But gosh, if I can find a way to give you something that makes magic at a price that makes your heart sing, well, Wahoo ka <laughs> All right, so our winner winners were from last week. I so digressed. And these two lovely ladies have won a $25 gift card. I'm looking to see if I can pronounce their names. I'm dyslexic, not a little dyslexic, a lot dyslexic. Not dyslexic like, ha ha, like, no, seriously. So bear with me when I do my best to pronounce everybody's name. I. I I really do give it a college try. Our first one's pretty simple. Sonia, Sonia Poole. Hello, Sonia Poole. Is that you? You are a winner, winner, chicken dinner. Congratulations. You've got a $25 gift card already in your online account. It's there. Go spend it. Anything that makes your heart happy. Our second winner, winner is Deborah. The Deborah part was the easy part. The, is it Le Marbre? Deborah Le Marbre, Le Marbre. How would you say that? I don't know. Deborah Le Marbre. I'm going with that. And if my my accent is wrong or my pronunciation is off, I think Deborah will forgive me because she has also won a $25 gift card to Scrapbooking Made Simple already in your online account too. So gosh, if you want to spend it during this YouTube, you're going to have a whole lot to choose from. Absolutely. And between Deborah and Sonia, I think we have to do the winner winner dance, right? But girls, if you are watching, you have to stand up. You have to call your, your kids, your spouse, your fur babies, your significant other to come and do the winner winner chicken dance with you too. Cause you never know who knows when I'll be able to call your name again. This might be the one and only time in the next who knows how many years I will eventually retire. So, all right, Deborah and Sonia, are you ready? You're a winner, chicken dinner. You're a winner, chicken dinner. Wahoo, cut you for you. Congratulations to the two of you. Like I said, you don't have to do anything to claim your prize. It's already in your online account. If you want a chance to be a winner, winner, chicken dinner here at Scrapbooking Made Simple, super easy, post a comment below. If you're watching during the live chat and we're live chatting, hello everybody, how's everybody doing? Welcome, yay, wait till you see the samples. That doesn't count, <laughs> has to be below me. Post your comment there, we'll approve it. It won't automatically post, we'll approve it. And then you go into the running to be a winner, winner, chicken dinner. We pick two every week and gosh, we just, 
We just hope you find something that will make your heart happy. All right, now today it is all about collaboration. And it started with Fran at Stampendous. And it started with a YouTube a while ago. I went to her and I said, I really, I, I have these dies. They're mini slimline dies. They're from Simple and Basic. And I want stamps to fit them. And she did it. She, for us, she made stamps that were beautiful. And then I went back and said, oh, I want, I want envelope stamps too. <laughs> and she did it. And the kind thing is, is that she sends me the images and says, what do you think? Now that is, that is going above and beyond what any manufacturer has to do. What do you think? And it gives, she gives me the opportunity to tweak here, make a little change there, say, hmm, or could you add, or I love them. <laughs> Most of the time, that's what it is. I love them. Or she'll send maybe 10 designs over and I, can you wheedle it down to about five that make your heart happy, Stacy? So to be able to collaborate like that with a manufacturer is something extraordinarily special. It just is is and I'm grateful for it. So today I have from Fran at Stampendous, I have new mini slimline dies which don't have to be used for slimline at all or mini slimline. I'm going to show you. I've got four new Christmas and one fall and then I have new envelope die or envelope uh, stamps and the envelope stamps again can be used with the envelopes, they can be used on cards between her mini slim line, mini slim line stamps, mini slim line stamps, <laughs> and envelope stamps. <laughs> I think you're going to love them, and I hope I picked the best of them. Well, they all were wonderful. It's very hard to wheedle down Fran's work. I want to buy it all, but alas. <laughs> so then Taylor, ta-da, it's Taylor from Sizzix. We call her Tada! It's Taylor because for a while there I was going through I, I had I had Mr. Big Shot David and then it went to Lori and then it went to Stacy and then it went to Victor and then it went to Sarah and I just kept bebopping through people until they finally settled on Tada! It's Taylor! So she's with Ellison Sizzix and she and Karina were here and we were looking at some new product and I have a worldwide launch for you of this new product. And I was flipping through it, it's paper. And I said, oh my gosh, this is beautiful, but wouldn't it be, why isn't there a matching something to go with it? You know, a matching opulent or a matching, go and she said, hmm, now that you mention it, do you happen to have the muted opulent here? And I said, of course I've got muted opulent. There's a stack of it right there. I use it all the time. And we put them together and poof, perfection. That never would have happened if Taylor wasn't here sitting in front of me, working with me, trying to see how we can, how we can bring you the best. And wait till you see the price, holy smokes, artichokes. So in between, between Ellison and Stampendous, amazing. And then all the way across the sea, all the way across the sea, I have friends over over at Hobby Gross, which is a distributor, and they make their own brands, like Simple and Basic is their own. And I saw something online. I've never met these people ever in my life, ever. I don't know if I told you the story. I was in Germany, well, I go to Germany once a year, and I go up and down the aisles, and I'm bebopping, and I'm this crazy American girl there that does, you know, live from creative world, and, you know, I get frowned on by the, you know, some, some of them don't like it because I'm too loud. And I contacted Hobby Gross because I was looking for a very specific paper. I was looking for the paper favorites line. And I, I typed in my email. Hi, my name is Stacy. I own Scrapbooking Made Simple. I know you don't know who I am, but I've been searching for your paper and I finally found you. And like two minutes later, like that, even with the time difference, he emails back, oh, I know exactly who you are. You're the girl, you're the American girl who goes up and down the aisles here at Germany, who never stops at our booth. <laughs> oh, ouch. <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> so my first, my, I, I, as quick as I could, I typed back, hmm, did you set an appointment with us? <laughs> It's been it's been mad love for each other ever since and I have never met them. So I saw these dies 
on their site and I wanted them. So I ordered a couple to play with because you never know what you're gonna get until you get it, right? So I ordered a couple of them to play with and they were so good. But by the time I went back to buy them, they were gone. Gone? How could they be gone? <laughs> so I typed my little email. Hey there, <laughs> when do you think you're gonna get more in? And he said, for you, absolutely. <gasps> So I have, I have three dies from Simple and Basic that we, he brought them in just for us. He actually did this twice for us. There's another YouTube coming up, but I'll tell you about that later. So between Simple and Basic and Stampendous and Sizzix, we've just got a, a, a lot of collaboration going on and a big thanks to all of them. Now I also want to tell you really quickly before I tilt down and I show you, Tim Holtz is doing a live today on his chapter three. We launched chapter three last week. It was online, ready to go, value pricing. I'm gonna hold the sale over. We're going to start expedite shipping. In fact, by the time you see this, we will have already started to expedite shipping for people who place their orders right away. But we're gonna hold the sale over so that you get the opportunity to take advantage. I have got open stock, I've got bundles. This happens to be his, this is the envelope and labels bundle. It has uh, six items in it and we're doing it. It retails for $143.94. Your price is $97.96. Hello, $97.96. It's got everything you could ever possibly want in it and we'll hold the sale over and we'll hold the expedited shipping over until Monday. I'll hold it over, but it's got all of his new goodies. It's got it's got some uh, some adhesive sheets and just to make it a super special, we're including in a free bottle of distress or a, a free distress something. It could be a could be an ink pad, it could be a stain, it could be a mist, it could be an embossing powder. So that's the first or that's one of the bundles that we have for you. And then the second bundle we have is his textures and numbers. So same thing, everything you need in there from Tim, all Tim Holtz goodness, a free goodie in there. Retails for $77.95, your price is $51.77. And if you like just one item, let's say maybe you are just all about this new texture fade embossing folder. That's on sale too. If you just want one item, get one item. If you want the bundle, get the bundle. If your order qualifies for expedited shipping, it'll expedite ship out to you. So we typically end those sales on a Friday, but because he's doing his live today, probably close to right now, <laughs> we're going to leave it up so you can take advantage of that as well. Okay. So we did winner, winner, chicken dinner. We talked about collaboration and how lucky, I'm a lucky girl, I truly am. We're gonna work on Stampendous and Simple and Basic and Sizzix. I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm not gonna tilt down to show you the samples. I'm gonna hold them up because they're a little tricky. So here is one of the mini slimline stamps. And again, it doesn't have to be on a slimline at all or a mini slimline. It's just a darling stamp from Stampendous. Love it, right? And then here's one of the envelope stamps, the mailbox, and we did it into a card. Isn't that a super cute card? But wait, here it is on an actual envelope. Look at how cute it is to decorate the envelope. I've got five Christmas and one fall even the back. Now this isn't even colored on, this is just straight stamped. But talk about making somebody's heart happy before they even open the car or the, the envelope, just getting an envelope that's decorated, that puts the smile on their face before they even see all the work you put into the card. So uh, again, I've got five, I've got five mini slimline stamps, four of them are Christmas, one of them is fall, and I've got five mailbox envelope stamps, four of them are Christmas and one of them is fall. But then the simple and basic. So, saw this, saw this die. Had to have this die. This is the one I emailed them. I said, what do you mean you sold out? Cause I ordered like four of them. 
I paid to get them here internationally. I ordered four of each because what if I don't like it? If I don't like it, it doesn't get YouTubed. I loved it. So then I went back in to buy them and um, hello, too bad, so sad, they were all gone. I don't do all gone very well. <laughs> it's just not me. Like, no, no, no. All gone for somebody else. Let's figure this out. And he did. So this is the small version. Cute, right? Goes on so many things. Look at the big version. Wait till you see all the samples. I went to the Dollar Tree and bought a million different things that these can fit on. Look at that. You're going over to somebody's house. It could be sparkling apple cider. It could be wine. It could be whatever makes your heart happy. And then this is one of the mini slimline stamps, but I love, love, love the die and I love that they fit on there so well. So this is what we're gonna play with today. I'm gonna put these back. I have a whole table over here of nothing. I wonder if I can, okay. Can you see all the bottles of stuff? that we put we put the the um the simple and basic dies on <laughs> the girls had fun so the samples are going to be amazing as always but before we get to the samples we have to start at the start and so first things first let's talk let me tilt on down because now i can let's talk about let's go in and down and in and let's see if I can okay let's talk about the Sizzix product first now this is a worldwide launch for Sizzix it's their new Christmas pad it's beautiful it's not inexpensive there's 80 sheets of paper I'm gonna tell you right now I nearly went <gasps> well I did go <gasps> when they told me how much it was let me flip. Each sheet is double-sided. So you've got plain on the back, patterned on the front. Super cute. Like my favorite sheet right here. This has got like a little glitter accent to it, a little or a little foil accent. Yeah, a little foil accent, silver foil. I don't know if you can see them. The plaid is darling. Right, and then you've got the back sides. You've got a foil there. A foil there so there is a lot in here I'm not gonna say that there's not it retails for $34.99 I just I said oh my <laughs> in the nicest way possible <laughs> oh my <laughs> so but then I wanted I said this is the paper I said isn't there any kind of opulent paper to go with it something I mean yes it has coordinating cardstock on the back but ooh, it's Christmas so so this is where Taylor ta-da it's Taylor said hey do you have any of that opulent cardstock in the muted and I said why yes yes I do so we pulled it out and oh my gosh it went it went perfect like like this blue went perfect <laughs> with the colors in here my green oh see there it went absolutely it went beautiful with that I mean the color it went amazing the pinks went with the pinks the, the dark blue the dark blue in here there's a dark blue went with the I, I just I couldn't believe how well this paper went so I said well then we have to do something about it right because well this is a worldwide launch. What are we going to do? So Taylor and Karina, ta-da, it's Taylor and Karina went back and they said, let us work on it. And they brought it out so that I could sell it to you. Retail price for the two of these is $57.98. Oh my gosh. Sale price for the two. How about $39.99? So this is $35 all on its own. And this is $22.99 all on its own. How about we do the both for 
only because I said they, they have to go together. And wow, $60, that's a lot, but let's do better. And they did. So I'm excited about that. Now, I think we're going to start with, I think we're going to start maybe with the Stampendous stamps. And I'm gonna do some quick stamping and I'm gonna do some colored pencil work. And I think I'll do, I'll definitely, I'll do, oh, hmm. Well, let's just start, let's get going. And then I'll figure out what I do as we go. These YouTubes are not scripted and not edited and what you see is what you get. Now, important thing, when you are looking at a Stampendous stamp, a cling stamp, so something with rubber on it. Sometimes the cling liner is cut all the way around the stamp, and sometimes it's not. On these, it is not. So when you pull it off the carrier, you're going to have this vinyl film that's kind of loosey-goosey all the way around it. It's attached to the stamp, but it's kind of loosey-goosey all the way around it. Now, you don't want to peel this off. No, this is what makes it cling to your block. Now, if you want to, you could go in and you could trim around it if that makes your heart happy, but I don't want you to get the stamp and that cling, that cling film is almost the exact same size as the that acrylic carrier that it holds on to. They're very close in size. So when you get it, you need to separate. And you will see that there's cling all the way around. And it's super easy to use. I don't want you to think that it's difficult. Let me get my well-loved blocks out. <laughs> don't want that liner it literally just clings right to your right to your stamp block and then you peel it off and then you cling it down and then you peel it off and then you cling it down so I know that it's a little confusing for people when they get these because they don't think that that they're supposed to have that much, they get it like this, comes in like that, they get it, they open it up, and then they're not sure, they peel this off, and they think they're supposed to peel off both. Please don't, you'll just, it, it just will, it won't ruin the stamp, but you'll have to glue it back down or find another way to cling. Just let that be, and remember, clings on, Clings off, <laughs> okay? So I'm gonna stamp with this one since I've pulled this one and we might as well. And I'm gonna grab my gush mat. A gush mat is just a high density foam. We used to sell these, I wish I could. I can't anymore, I can't get them. So it's a high density foam. It is not super squishy and it's not too firm. This allows you to make a really nice stamped impression. If you want to use a stamp positioner, you absolutely can. This will cling to your stamp positioner, just like any other cling stamp would. Um, I've got plenty of paper here. Just gonna start with some white paper. And I'm gonna use my Hero Hues India ink. So I'm using India ink because India ink is a dye-based ink that doesn't move with water. I could also use Memento ink, but India ink gives a really nice crisp finish and it doesn't move with liquid. And that's super important because I'm gonna play with colored pencils today and Gamsol. And we're just gonna be quick about it because I know you've seen it before. So I'm gonna ink up, ink up, this is an acrylic block for those of you who have never seen blocks before. We sell a couple different sets. This is the Couture Creation set. Each one of these is a different size block. And you want to use, if you have a stamp that's smaller, you want to use the right size block for the right size stamp. Once you own these, you never get rid of them. You use them again and again and again, just like you use the stamp again and again and again. So I'm going to ink up.
I'm going to turn it over and I'm going to give a nice press. So one, two, three, A, B, C. I'm not going to do chest compressions. It, the stamp is not going to come back. It's just what it is. You want to make sure that you get a nice, a nice pressure all over. I feel like I rocked it, but we'll see. Oh no, it looks good. Nice pressure all over, but you're not going to do chest compressions. Stamping should not be crazy difficult. Let's take this one off since I, I love, I don't know. Do you, so do we like the gift or do we like, which one do we want to do? <laughs> Look at how cute is this, right? Isn't that darling? And we have the, the fall one. So I'm trying to hear what you're saying, <laughs> but this isn't live. So, <laughs> um, oh, I don't know. We'll do the truck. Did you say the truck? Sure you did. Somebody out there said, do the truck, do the truck in the camper. Okay, so my stamp comes off. The cling is on there. It feels like it's just a thick piece. You have to separate it. So it's a little short here, so I can separate it there. And it's just a piece of vinyl over the top that allows it then to cling to my acrylic block. Let's go ahead, we'll take this one off. We'll put this one on. And while we're here, is this gonna be big enough? Ooh, by the hair of a chinny chin chin. Should we try a little bit bigger maybe? Yeah, I say we try just a little bit bigger white paper. I've got more. <laughs> All right, see how it clings right to my block? For those of you who have never seen stamping before, there's two types of stamps. There's rubber stamps and there's clear stamps. I'm going to work with clear stamps in a little bit. This is a rubber stamp. Gray rubber clings right to my block. And again, I'm not using one of my smaller blocks because my stamp won't fit. But when I get to my clear stamps, I don't want to use that big block for something that is much smaller. Use the right size block for the right size stamp. All right, and these are super inexpensive. They're $12.50 for the whole thing and the carrying case. There are some manufacturers who sell this size block for $12.50. Thank goodness for Couture Creations. All right, so I'm going to... ink 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 okay I think that's good I'm gonna stamp 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 see it doesn't come off I'm gonna just give a nice press now this is the first time I've stamped with this one so hopefully I get a good impression sometimes there can be a little residue left on your stamp so you can take an eraser on the rubber side that the stamped image is on and erase it off. You just kind of give it a little bit of an erase or you can take dishwashing detergent and wash your stamp. Absolutely, you can wash your stamp. I'll stamp off, I'll stamp three or four times and then all of a sudden that little residue is gone. But let's see what we got. Oh, it looks beautiful, I'm happy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and you'll notice on the rubber, my stamp cleans up beautifully. I want you to remember that the, the cling stamps, the rubber stamps, clean up beautifully, meaning that the ink does not stain it. And you've got the index. This is called indexing, so that you can see what the stamp looks like. If you accidentally pull the top off, you're going to take your indexing with it. You don't want to separate them. And then you can see what you're stamping, which is really, really nice. Okay, so I've got two of them done. I think I'm going to start easy peasy with my little guy because he's super cute. 
and I'm going to use colored pencils. Now these are colored pencils, not watercolor pencils, so there's not going to be any water involved in this at all. It's only going to be a colored pencil and mineral spirits or Gamsol. So if you're doing a colored pencil and you just color with it, it sort of gives you a look like a crayon. Now I tend to go from the side as much as I can versus here. I don't want to, you know, upset my point. If I need to get in there to do a fine detail, I want that point to look good. And you can color pencil just like this if you want it to look just like that. Absolutely. Let's get a little darker green too going. So if you want your color, and you, you know, I could have had my color as light as, just depends upon how heavy handed you are. But if that looks good to you, awesome. But there is a way to smooth out that color. There is an absolute way to smooth out that color. Hmm. This one looks good. It's Gamsol, Mineral Spirits whatever you want to call it. That's, we use it from Inky Antics. Can it evaporate? Yes. Do you need to keep that lid on pretty good? Yes, absolutely. Can you buy more? Yes. Does it go a long way? Absolutely. What we like about the Inky Antics is it's got this little sponge toppy, but if you've got Gamsol or Mineral Spirits and it doesn't have a little sponge toppy, just get yourself a little salsa cup from, or, or from a, uh, your favorite Mexican restaurant, a to-go cup. And you can put some cotton balls in there and put a little Gamsol in there and then you can dip in it. These are a paper stub. It is made of compressed paper. That means it is super porous. So if I were to stick this paper stub right into this bottle filled with Gamsol, you would see that the Gamsol would go zoop and it would turn my paper stub a darker color because it's absorbing all that liquid because that's what paper does. It absorbs liquid. Remember, you have paper towels, right? So this is a, a highly compressed paper towel. <laughs> that's why you want the little, the little uh, sponge toppy because you can just dab your paper stub and you don't get too much Gamsol. It doesn't absorb all the way in because once it's in the paper stub, you're never getting it back into the bottle. So can you use something else besides a paper stub to do this? You know, it's just as easy to do it with a paper stub. People say that they can do it with a, a like a dauber or a, a, even a, 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 a very rigid paintbrush. I find it to be challenging, so I don't. I just use the paper stubs. They're easy to buy. They're inexpensive and they get the job done. So there's that one and I'll do this one down here too. Okay, so you can see the difference when you use Gamsol versus not using Gamsol. Here we've got the colored pencil. It's kind of waxy, which is what a colored pencil does. Here you've got some Gamsol or mineral spirits that then changes it into a more like a paint. It doesn't move like a paint, so watercolor pencils are going to move much more. This is gonna move a little bit, but it definitely gets rid of that crayon looking type of mark. So that's what we're gonna start with. These are easy to use. They don't make a mess. You don't have water anywhere. And it's just, they're just fun. They're just a great little, a great pencil. Let's see, I still feel like I'm not in the right place. Is that better? Maybe. So I'm gonna take my guy and I'm just gonna color him up. So let's grab a green. I'm going to go in and I'm going to put a little green. Now I'm a not too much kind of girl. 
because colored pencils, you can come back as often as you want and go on top and on top and on top, unlike a watercolor pencil where you kind of need to let the paper dry a little bit if you want to take the pencil back to the top of it. So I'm a less is more girl because I know I can always add to it and I want to be able to create some depth and some shadow and some shading and if I color everything in, I'm going to miss that. So I've got just a little bit of green going on there. I don't want that blue. All right, I don't want that blue from before. So my sharpener, all it is is sandpaper. This is paper. Sand off one color to use the next. This comes in the little Gamsol kit. You get a couple paper stubbies, you get the bottle of Gamsol, and you get a sharpener. And once you've got it sharpened, there's lots of little pieces of sandpaper. When this one is no longer usable, you just pop it off. And you're good to go with a new one. I feel bad doing that because there's still plenty of sandpaper on here. All right, I think I've got it sharpened. Good enough? I think so. All right, so I got rid of that blue. Now I have just a paper stub again. And these are gonna last you a long time. <laughs> so I'm gonna come in here with my Gamsol and I'm gonna kind of spread some of this green, spread some of this green around. So again, to me, less is more because I can always add more color, but it's hard to take the color away once you've put it down. And just like that, I've colored my little Charlie Brown Christmas tree. Now I can add more color to it, sure I can. Um, do this one. I add a little more color. So I've colored kind of close to the stem or the trunk of the tree. It looks more like a stem to me, but okay. And let's just continue. A little bit of Gamsol and kind of blend it on out. Ooh, I got a little bit outside my lines. I got a little bit outside my lines right there. Hmm. Hmm. Not sure if I'll be able to get it to clean up or not. My guess is it's going to stay a little green. All right, oh, well, I'm okay with that actually. Yes, I know the sound, some of you just turned your sound off. <laughs> You're like, oh, I can't do it, I can't. It's like nails on a chalkboard. Yes, it could be, but it's so pretty when it's done. Okay, so I got my tree done. Easy peasy mac and cheesy. Let's do my little guy. And let's start, how about with his hat? Let's see how red this is. Oh, that looks pretty red. Oh yeah, that's good. Okay, good. So I'm gonna take, and on my little guy, let's see if I can zoom in just a little bit because it's important that you know less is more. So I, his little hat here is going to stay white. The little fur on the hat, I'm going to leave those as white. But I'm going to come in here and color. So I'm going to add a little bit of red. 
and a little bit of red and I'm gonna skip one and a little bit of red and a little bit of red and I'm gonna skip one and a little bit of red and a little bit of red. Now look at how much white space I've left. That's a lot, right? If I were to take and color my entire area in with my red pencil, I have nowhere to make it move. Remember, I want to make it softer and make it move. I also want some shadow and some highlight, right? And I'm not using alcohol ink markers. So let's go in there, little Gamsol. And let's color. And I'm going to pull that color out. And as I pull it out, it becomes a little fainter and a little fainter and lighter and lighter. And I'm going to make those two meet in the middle. So I've almost got a shadow and a mid-tone and a highlight. Let's do the rest of them. A little bit of Gamsol. And I'm going to pull that color and pull that color. And let's pull a little bit of this and pull a little bit of that and make them kind of meet in between. If I want to take just some straight Gamsol without the red on it so that there it's not too much, I'm just going to use that as a blending tool. I know the sound is awful. And it almost looks like there's a highlight going on right in the center. And if I want that highlight to look a little bit more intense, I just add a little bit of red on my ends. The darker my ends look, the whiter, the more, the, the more light my center looks. So if my ends are really dark, then my highlight even looks more like a highlight. And I'm just going to do a little, just to soften the color, just so you don't see it as a pencil. But I want those sides of his hat nice and dark. And that'll make my highlight look brighter. Oh, there's a good word. <laughs> I want my highlight to look brighter. So now let's come in with some green. Uh, hmm. Hmm. Okay, well, we'll try this green. Which green is this? All right, that works. We'll try this one. I'm going to do the same thing. A little bit of green on each side. And lots of white space for me to move that green around. So very little color. Crazy how little color you use. And the kids, they love doing this because they're successful at it. They can color and you've got your little Gamsol in perhaps not the bottle. Maybe you give them the little cup of it with some um, cotton balls in it. And they're just so successful at it. This is easy peasy coloring. If you were doing this at home, it would go so super fast. Oh, hmm. How about we do, we'll do a little red outfit. So I'm just gonna add some color around the outline of his little frock here. His little gnome know me dress. So I'm just putting a little bit of color just on the outline of his dress, his frock. And then same thing, I just go and grab it and start to move it and fill in 
all my white space. All my white space. Soften it with that Gamsol. Look at the difference. Done? Not done. He would take about maybe five minutes to color, if that. If you were doing this at home, I always try to tell people, it takes longer to teach than it does to do. <laughs> Gamsol. And look at shadow, midtone, highlight. Bam. Now, what are we going to do about his little, we'll do his little gloves and his little mittens in a little green. And very little. You need very little color because they're very small spaces. I can always add a little bit more, but I can't take it away. I forgot his little part of his little dress. A little color. A little red. Got a little green on his little mittens because it's cold outside. And then we'll do his little birdie. And it's a cardinal, so we'll add a little red. Look at just a little red to his tummy. That's all I'm doing is a little red to his tummy. And then we're gonna move it along. I've got Gamsol in here, so I'm just gonna grab it and move it along. Maybe add a little more red to his tummy just so it's a nice red cardinal. Look at how cute he is. Oh, we've got the ornaments to do, but look at my little birdie. And his little nose. A little color for his nose. Kind of leave a little white. I don't know if you can see it, but I left a little bit of a white dot right in the middle of his nose, just so it has that highlight on it too. And his little shoes. How about yellow for his shoes? So I'm using Brunzel colored pencils. They are the colored pencil of choice here at SMS. I don't know what color yellow to use. We'll try this one. Brunzel tends to be more of a fine art medium, but their prices are amazing and their quality is stellar. Sometimes looking outside the typical paper crafting categories, you can find product that is as good, if not better, for less money. And that's kind of what Brunzil is. They're distributed by a company called Royal Talons. And Royal Talons is, again, more known to be a fine art company. But my gosh, the products that they sell why should we deny ourselves really great product that's less money just because it says it's fine art? Fine art is the quality of the product you're using, not your talent level. <laughs> you will look better by using fine art quality product because you're starting with a better product, but it has nothing to do with, with how talented you are has everything to do with the quality of the product you are using. So we chose Brunzil and they're just really lovely. Nope. 
Let's make sure I've got my right. All right, so I think he is about done. And then last but not least, my star. Okay, there we go. Right? Easy peasy, mac and cheesy. And he's darling. Let's put him to the side and let's grab, let's grab our little truck. So here I could take, I could take a couple of my greens and just go in there and kind of scribble, scribble, scribble. I'm good at scribble, scribble, scribble. That is my kind of crafting. Scribble, scribble, scribble. Grab some of my Gamsol. Kind of go in there and move it around. And this I'm just trying to get kind of all over and fill in. I'm going to come back with that darker green to add some highlight. Scribble, scribble, scribble. Actually, it's going to be shadow that I'm adding. Scribble, scribble, scribble. So I've got a green tree now. Yay. But now let's go along. Man. Let's make it darker on this side. So can you blend colors? Of course you can. So I've gone a little darker on that side because while the sun is shining this way. Take my green. And just kind of blend it out. It really doesn't have to be any more difficult than that. It really doesn't. It can be just that simple. If I want it even darker, I can come back and add darker, darken up that green. Now it's even darker. And instead of moving it too far, I'm just going to kind of move right where the line is just to soften that pencil line up. I'm not going to blend it too much over. I'm not going to pull it too far out. Just trying to soften that, that pencil line up. And I could keep going darker. And the darker I make it here, the brighter it's going to appear there. Oh, so much fun. Really, so much fun. <laughs> OK, so what color do we want the? What color do we want? Let's move him there. and. Okay, let's see what color this is. Oh, that looks like a good vintage truck color, doesn't it? I think so. I think that looks like a great vintage truck color. So I'm just going to go right along. Right along the stamped outline. right along the stamped outline. 
and leave oodles of negative space because I can always fill it in with this color if I need to. I can always add. And go in with my little paper stubby and pull my color out. Easy to do. If you're doing this with kids, give them a bigger stamped image to play with. But it won't take them too long to get it. Okay, there are the will wills, right? And if I want to go back and make it a little darker, I just add a little more color. See how I've added a little bit more color? But when I put my Gamsol to it, I'm going to be soft with it. I'm just going to try and get rid of that line a little bit so it doesn't look so drawn in. I'm just going to try and smooth that line out. So now you've got brighter on top, darker on the bottom. Let's keep going. Let's finish up the truck. So cute. And I'm just trying to pull my color. And if I need more, I can add. If I color in too much, then there's no place for the color to go once I've put the Gamsol on top. If I colored in the whole truck and then added the Gamsol, it would smooth the color out. But, oh, see, look at, see, I don't need much more. I, I don't need more Gamsol. Tell me to stop. I've got plenty going on. But every time I put my little paper stub in it, it absorbs a little more and it goes a little higher. And that's Gamsol I can't get back out again. That's looking pretty okay. And I'm just following the lines of the truck. These are pencils. So let me finish this up and then we will move on. I love the ease of them. Watercolor pencils are going to give you more like a paint. Colored pencils don't move as much. But they sure are, they just are cute. They're easy. And they make you look like you've been alcohol inking. Because <laughs> you've got that shadow and that mid-tone and that highlight. Okay, so watercolor pen or colored pencils, easy. These are cling stamps. Now let's talk about clear stamps. And let me put this away. I'm still going to use colored pencils, but clear stamps. So we've got several sets of the mailbox stamps from Stampendous. They're winter related, Christmas related. They're darling. Everybody loved the first round that we did. People just went crazy for them because there hasn't been really good mailbox stamps out in years. So when I went to Fran and I said, could you, would you? She said, yes. <laughs> Love them. So this one's got the snow 
and it's got a little wreath and the presents at the bottom and you've got a, a, a hand stamped label and a little bit of a village down there and a to and a from and a place to put the stamp and corners that you can do on all four corners. Here you've got a wreath around the mailbox with the cute little bow from our home to yours. Uh, Merry Mail, isn't that cute, Merry Mail? The little birdies, the little houses, again, another corner. Here you've got the Christmas lights wrapped all around your, your mailbox with the mail coming out and Christmas lights that you can go all around your envelope with, your to and your from. And you've got holiday mail. You've got merry mail. I mean, they're just so cute. The presents all stacked up underneath it. And then the more wintry one with the cardinals and the to and the from and the Christmas greetings. Very, um, very, just this is just pretty. There's one more and I'm going to show you that in a minute. And that is the fall one. But let me pull this off. And this is different than a cling stamp. So half of it stayed on my liner and half of it's here, which is fine. This is a clear stamp. You can see right through it. It doesn't have the index on it like the cling. The cling, the index is right on the stamp. The clear, it's indexed on the liner so that you can see what it is you're getting. So you're able to see, oh yeah, I can, I see that, I get it. I see that mailbox, there it is. I can see all the items. But once you pull it off, it is clear. Now different inks do different things. And I use, I typically use an India ink. And you saw when I used an India ink on the cling stamp, it just wiped right off, no problem. On the clear stamp, it's going to be a little different. And I'm going to see if it's going to fit this block. Oh, yeah. So I'm going to use it on a smaller block. I don't need this big block. When you use a block that's too big, it tends to rock. And we're trying not to, we're trying not to, you know, smear or make a mess. Super easy to put on, super easy to take off. It doesn't have that cling vinyl over the top. It just clings, holds straight to it, and it's considered a clear stamp. But because we use India ink, it's not going to stay clear for long. Now, if you use Memento ink, this may not happen. If you use Lawn Fawn or Tim Holtz or whomever you want to use, I just want to use an ink that I can use with any kind of water or alcohol markers or Gamsol and it won't smear. So if I ink this up and let me grab a piece of paper. If I ink this up, You can now clearly see the design. Clearly see it. It's all in black. Let's go ahead and stamp it. See how well I do. Ready? One, two, three, A, B, C. I'm not going to do chest compressions, but I do want to give all over pressure and I usually just do the four corners in the center and go A, B, C, one, two, three, and up. Oh, nice. There we go. Now, the difference between a cling stamp and a clear stamp is much more than just the color. And I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take my baby wipe and I'm gonna wipe off my stamp. Hmm, wipe off my stamp. Hmm. <laughs> that black is never going to come off my stamp. But does that mean that it's always going to stamp black? No, I could put a red over the top of this. I could put a green over the top of this. I could put a brown over the top of this and stamp and that black is not going to come off. Unlike a cling stamp, which is made of rubber where the ink just 
wipes right off. Clear are made of polymer and it's going to stain your stamp. Now you may be saying, I don't want my stamp stained. Well, I'll tell you, for me, I actually go through and I like to ink all my stamps up with India ink because I can see that. <laughs> Unlike maybe if I was 30 years younger, <laughs> just put it on a block. So I can't see that. I don't know, I can't, I'm struggling to see where the stamped image is, but I can clearly see this. So I tend to go uh, with my India inks and I go ahead and I stamp in the India ink just to mark them so I can see what it is I'm stamping. That might not be a concern for you. <laughs> You may have amazing eyesight. Mine is dwindling over the years and I have accepted it and I wear my readers, I wear my glasses, but gosh, if I can do anything to help myself, why wouldn't I? And inking them up and stamping with them so that I can see what it is I'm doing. <laughs> One, two, three, A, B, C, and up. I'm better with that. So, the full one I already stamped. And you can see it's dark. That's from the ink. Let's go ahead and let's stamp this one up. I did this one when I was playing with them, when I was testing them. So let's grab another sheet of paper. And let's just stamp this up. So the difference between cling and clear, like I said, is quite a difference. First off, depending on the ink you use, this is never going to stain where this one absolutely will. And I'm okay with that. The other difference is that this being made out of rubber, it doesn't gush as much. And you're like, gush, what is she talking about? She said the pad underneath her was a gush pad. Well, it is but a clear stamp will tend to spread if you press too hard. If you really press down, is that my other piece of paper? Well, we're gonna go with it. If you really press down too hard on a clear stamp, it will smush. Your, your rubber stamps don't have that problem. It's a different material. It doesn't smush. But if you press too hard, let's, I don't know if I can get this one to smush. So let's do here. And let me just push really, really, really hard and see if I can get it to kind of smush. Because what happens is as you're pressing, it's the, the lines are moving out from the pressure. Okay, let's see what we got. Oh, it's not too bad. It's not too bad. Or we go one, two, three, A, B, C, and up. Well, yeah, you can see it's a little, this one's a little darker. Done. You just don't need to press so hard. And you don't need to ink up for days. So if this is you, how you doing? How was your day today? <laughs> What did you do? How's the family doing? Oh, the family's doing great. I'm so glad to hear that. Did you fix dinner? What are we having for dinner? Uh-huh. Yep, yep, yep. I'm still, oh, really? Dessert? No, I don't need any dessert, but I'd love a cup of coffee. Do you have a cup of coffee? If that is you, stop. <laughs> One, two, three, A, B, C, and up. 
You don't need that much ink. <laughs> Done. <laughs> you know who you are out there. <laughs> you do. You know who you are. One, two, three, A, B, C, and up. <laughs> It's all good. <laughs> okay, so now that I've stamped a million of these, same thing, it's a wash, rinse, and repeat. You can go in there and we can color our mailbox. I've got a mess going on already. I don't know how I make such a mess, but boy, oh boy, do I ever. Do I want one that small? Hmm. I'm going to sand this one down just a little bit. And that one is definitely done now. So stubbies are inexpensive. Again, they come with the kit. But you may just find yourself wanting to buy a whole handful of stubbies. That way you can almost have one for every color and they really, I mean, you get, you get a handful of them for like six or seven dollars. They're very inexpensive. All right, so let's go ahead and let's color. And I think I'm going to use, I think I'm going to use, let's see if I like this gray. Oh, that works. So I'm going to do the mailbox real quick. And I'm going to come in here and add a little bit of color and up here. Add a little bit of color and let's rock this mailbox out super fast. And work around my little lights. And just rock this mailbox out. And right up to the snow. But I'm not going to do the snow. All right, so I've started my mailbox. It's got a little line down the center of it. I'm gonna to get to that in just a minute. I'm gonna tap on a, just a little bit of black. Just so I can get some, just a little bit of shadow going on in here. Just a little bit, look at I tapped on very little black. I mean hardly anything at all. And I'm gonna move it out. I just want it a little darker in places, just so it has a little bit of a shadow going on. There, I got a mailbox. Let's do the lid really quick. I'm gonna do the inside. And then maybe just a touch of black, just a little touch of black, just to give a little bit of a depth perception. Just a little touch, little dab will do you. And then let's grab some red. And I'm just gonna do that. And I'm not gonna worry about blending it out because it's just a line.
So now my mailbox has got a red line going through it. It's got the snow on top. I could then go in and color my, my light bulbs. And again, I don't really have to worry. These are so small. I can just do a little portion of them. And that looks good. I mean, just a little bit, a little dabble do ya. And I could go in there and color all of my cute little my little light bulbs. And maybe a blue. And maybe a green. And in no time at all, you're working your way to a finished project. They're simple, they're effective, they're so cute. And they just add the perfect touch to whatever you're doing. And you color as much or as little as you want. You color as much or as little as you want. I started this one earlier my fall with my pumpkins. So these are new from Stampendous. And they've got everything you need on them. They've got sayings and, and corners and twos and froms. The, the fall one has, uh, may you have a bountiful harvest. Autumn leaves, autumn leaves, pumpkins, please. The to and the from, if you want to make your little pumpkins into jack-o'-lanterns, you've got the little faces to put on front of them. Options aplenty. But we need to move on. So when Fran did these darling mini slims, I hadn't seen the dies. I knew I, I, I knew I wanted new mini slims. And I think I saw a sample of the die, but didn't know what the die was. So there's three dies that we have for you today. This is the smallest one. This gives you the small bottle tag. And these are the matting to go on top. Then we have the larger bottle tag. Let me go back just a little. Larger bottle tag. And these are the matting to go with it. So on the smallest one, the matting comes with it. On the larger, it's two separate dies. We are selling these two as a bundle. And I wanna say for the two of them, they're on sale for like $19.99 or you can buy just the tag, the bottle tag large by itself. And then the mini is sold by itself. So there's no bundle where you're gonna get all three of them. There's, we just don't have enough of them <laughs> to do that. So I think I will start with the mini. In fact, I'm not even gonna open these because those are gonna become somebody else's. I'm gonna use the ones that we use to make samples with. So here's my little mini set. Okay, easy to cut. I'm gonna use my Sizzix Big Shot machine. And I think, I think I might use my smaller plates. Ooh, right? Or I could use, I could do two of them at the same time 
do these. So these plates are new from Sizzix. We did the worldwide launch on the Sizzix branded plates. And then Tim Holtz also has his plates in his own packaging. Same plates, same color, just different packaging. We are selling, they come packaged like this. So you get, you get three different sizes. So in this, in this bag, you get a small, you get a medium, which is like a six by six, and you get a large. So three different sizes in one pack. Now, lots of people will say, use your big one, and then you can put this one on top and it'll feed through fine, no problem, easy peasy. And that may be true. These were brought out for the switch machine because the switch machine plates are so big and if you use a little die on them, they're warping. I mean, they just really are warping. But that's also true with your big shot machine. And yes, I could put my, I could put my die here and then I could put my smaller plate there and feed it through my big shot machine. The trouble comes when I don't feed it through properly, when it gets, when it hits that roller and it starts to push the top plate back. That can happen. So you're trying to feed it on through, especially in the manual uh, 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 crank machine, and it hits the roller and, and it starts to push it backwards as opposed to taking it all through. So when we launched the plates, and I'm going to continue with it today, we're offering them as a set. So you're not going to get one pack of these. You're going to get two packs. That way you have two of the extended small pads. You have two of the six by six pads and you will get two brand new full-size cut plates. Absolutely. So we're doing it that way because I find that when I use the same top and bottom, they tend to sell through easier and that problem of the top plate pushing back isn't nearly as much. Also, it's going to minimize your warpage. So we've got them too. They retail for $33.98. Your price is $23.10. These have landed. So if you've already got your order in for them, they have already arrived to us. Yay. If you use the right, just like with your blocks, you don't want to put this stamp on a block this size if you don't have to. When you do, it, it allows you to kind of rock it and, and roll it, and you're trying to avoid that. You want to use the right size block for the right size stamp, which is why having a set that gives you multiple sizes is so nice. Now you have that in your, in your, your die cutting plates as well. If I were to take and put this die on this plate and send it through, Will it go through? Absolutely. Will it cut? Absolutely. Will my plates tend to warp a little faster? Absolutely. Why? There's nothing rigid here and there's nothing rigid here to hold the plate straight. You've got empty space here going under the roller and then it's going to hit this and that's rigid and then it's going to end up over here. So if I use something that is closer to the right size, I'm going to have less warpage. And that's going to be true on a Sizzix Big Shot, a Big Kick, a Vagabond, a Vagabond 2, a Big Shot Plus, a Big Shot Pro, a Big Shot Switch, um, a Big Kick. Yes, it's going to be the same. These extended plates, however, will not work with your sidekick. Tim Holtz does have his own extended sidekick plates, and you know that they're his alone because the color is different. Absolutely. Tim's clear plates are, or uh, multi plates, are the same clear color as Sizzix, but his extended sidekick plates are a different color and that denotes a Tim product. You know you're getting something that he thought of that was in his creative mind, God bless his pee pick and heart, and absolutely we needed extended plates for your sidekick. 
this is not them. <laughs> so I can choose to run this one through or I can bring over my six inch and I can run these through and do them all at the same time. That's going to give me less warpage than putting it on a bigger plate. So what do we want to do? Let's decide. Decisions, decisions. And let's pull the paper out. So I think I'm going to take... Hmm. Hmm. Well, that's very pretty. That's... Well, maybe. So I'm going to grab that opulent. And let's see what we do. Uh, maybe that this green glitter is certainly pretty. And then this for the for the mat, or that for the green glitter goes perfectly with several of the. I don't know why the muted opulent pack was called muted. It it should have been used for this. It's perfect. Hmm, I could even use it for that. <laughs> or that. Oh, decisions, decisions. There, It's very, de although the blue, the blue looks good there too. This kind of greeny, t it's, it's supposed to be a green, but all right, think long, think wrong. I'm going to go back to, I like these guys. They look happy. So I'm going to make my base, my base die out of my green glitter and then I'm going to make the matting to go on top out of the pretty foiled Sizzix paper and I know you may already have opulent I get that but gosh for the price to get the you're getting the opulent for like five bucks you might as well just get the two pack if you can because the price is amazing. So let's put that one there, and then let's cut this one. And let's cut it out. My, oh, that's my do not cut plate. Let's transfer them over to a cut plate. So there. And there. And put on my top plate. Pick it up. Bring over my Sizzix Big Shot machine. This is my crank machine. I'm not using a switch or a vagabond. You may have this in a fabby, an old fabby machine, a Sizzix fabby or a vintage machine, or you might have a red version that's a sidekick or a blue version that's an old Ellison machine. They're all the same. They're all gonna take these plates. You have a vagabond, go for it. Put it in and send it on through. And to me, not having to worry about whether the um, the roller's going to catch both plates at the same time and not push them back, to me, it's worth it. So cute. Let's pop this little guy out. And I'm going to keep my little circle piece. And did I cut through? Oh, yeah, it looks like I cut through. Yeah, it sure did. I didn't use a precision base plate. But it cut through. Look at that. Happy day. It's got a 
automatic score line in there for you. It actually has little beading around the edge. It's got a little stitched edge. So cute. And then all I have to do is take and do I want to use sticky dots? Maybe I use sticky dots for this. So let's grab this one because it's so small. This is the mat that fits right on top. Fits right on top. So let's sticky dot this. What are sticky dots? Well, they're my product. There are hundreds of thousands of little adhesive dots on this sheet. This is a eight by 10 sheet. You get 10 sheets for $10.99. Anywhere you don't see the paper, so if you can see the paper through it, anywhere that you don't see the paper, those sticky dots are gonna stay right there and you can use them again and again. And I line it up, make my heart happy. And down it goes. Now I've got the big one, and the big one I could do with Stacy tape, your double sided adhesive, whichever. Make sure if you want to use sticky dots, if you want to use just double sided adhesive. This is Stacy tape, simply defined adhesive. We have it in like, I don't know, 10 different sizes. Um, not all double sided tape is the same. I can tell you that. Elizabeth Crafts ha sells Sukwang tape. I no, she sells her own now. Elizabeth Crafts tape is excellent and you can't go wrong with it. Also, Sukwang, which is Score Pal tape, is excellent and you can't go wrong with it. But the Dollar Tree tape is not the same, or the Dollar Store tape is not the same. So, I think. All of those tapes, whether it be Elizabeth Crafts or mine or um, or Scorpal, they're all very reasonably priced. And if there's one thing you don't want to skimp on, it's adhesive. Oh, it's so cute. And then you can take the extra piece. So here is the piece that came out of there. And you can put it in the center with your two and your from. You could use the glitter in your center. Up to you. But it's just here. Look at how cute. Give somebody some gamsel. <laughs> can you imagine all the cute little things you can do with this? Really darling. And I could take Hmm, I peel this one off. Hmm, what if we cut it again? Let's just cut it again and I'll do it out of a pattern paper this time. Let's do it out of a pattern paper here. Ooh, which one do we like? Which one do we like? Is certainly cute. Let's try the plaid. And let's cut the whole base. Let's cut out of white my tag. And this one, maybe out of the back side. I don't know, you're going to have plenty of options, that's for sure. 
being that between those two pads, you're going to have oodles of different color combinations that just look beautiful together. Okay, so let's bring it on over and let's do it again. So my cup, oh, I need my solo shim. So my platform is my base platform from Sizzix that comes with your machine. Base platform, solo shim that comes with your machine, cup plate, my die, and I want this one out of that. And I want this one out of that. And I'm using the medium size cut plate put on my do not cut. So eventually this one, your, your bottom plate is going to get cut into. It's going to get warped. It's going to crack. That's fine. That's what it's supposed to do. That's the job it's supposed to do. Then you buy yourself, they're sold singly. So you can buy just one more of these once your plates start to go bad. You take the cut, what was your cut plate, that now becomes your new, or your, I'm sorry, your do not cut plate, that now becomes your new cut plate. Ooh, and you take the nice pretty one and you never cut into it until this one goes bad. So you just keep revert, you know, rotating them until this one's gone, then you take this one and you make this the bottom and the new one the top. This one goes bad, you take the one that was the top, make it a bottom and you just keep going and that will keep your plates going a lot longer and using the right size plates for the right size dies is always, it, it's a, I don't know, I don't know why the concept, why we didn't think of this before. Well, I didn't think of it at all. Sizzix thought of it. <laughs> I wished I had thought of it. <laughs> Wasn't me at all. And then I know, um, I know that because Tim Holtz has his own machines uh, that they did, uh, that he has his own in the different packaging. So there's that, I don't need that. And there's that, I'm not gonna throw that away. And here's the base, because it's so super cute. And it's got a score line in there for you built in so it's ready to go. It's nice because it's double sided so you don't have white looking at the back side. I've got my, don't throw my die away Stacy. I've got my white piece right here. And now let's put them together. So I'm gonna take this one and put that on top. I don't know, should have I have done that on white? Because I want the white one here. No, I'm gonna leave it. We're gonna just we're gonna fly by the seat of our pants. Get my sticky dots. Ooh, a new sheet. <laughs> I'm splurging. Put down my top. Make sure I'm using the right side. A couple weeks ago, I put the dots on the wrong side of the paper, but luckily it was two-sided paper, so we went with it. <laughs> okay, this on top of here. And your sticky dots, you have time to move it around before it becomes permanent. So there we go. And Oh, I should have stamped this one first. All right, well, I'm just gonna work with it on my craft map. I'm gonna stamp this. So let's see. Let's see what stamps I wanna use. Ooh, that one's pretty. Oh, that one looks good. That one says, Christmas greetings. What else? To and from, 
from our Mary Mail. Uh, oh, I like this one too. Sending Mary Mail. That one looks good. Hmm, no, I think I'm going to like the Christmas greetings. It's going to be a little bit off. It's a little bit bigger. Let's find a block that it fits on. Let's see, this one might be too big or too small. Too small. So we're going to go here because this is the closest size block that I have. It's going to be a little bit too big, but I'm going to live with it because I think I like it. And let's stamp it. So I'm going to ink it up. Bring over my gush pad. Oh, that's it's taped down. <laughs> And let's just kind of center it a little bit and go. So it's a little big. But I think I'm going to be okay with that. Greetings at Christmas. could have had the two in the from. I could color this a little bit. You're like, color it a little bit. Yeah, why not? Let's see. What color works best for me? Because it's kind of pink, right? So is this kind of a pinky color? Oh, that's really pinky. Do we like that pinky? Okay, why not? I'm just gonna kind of go around the edges. You guys might do this with ink. I don't have ink in front of me. I've got my pencils in front of me. So I kind of went around my, my whole little white mat that's been stamped on. And let's gamsol it. I don't have my inks with me, but I got my colored pencils. Now it's got a little color to it. <laughs> I could vintage it up a little bit. Maybe put a little brown over the top. You like the brown? Oh, that looks like a good brown. Maybe add a little brown all the way around. So we're just doing distressing <laughs> with our colored pencils. Why not? Hmm. That kind of looks like a brown. Oh yeah, now I've got a vintage look going. It's 
So now I've got a distressed look without the ink. Oh, yay for me. <laughs> so super cute. The to and the froms, you get a dozen to, well, each one of them I think has a to and from, and then it has the little corners that you could put on and the to and the from, oh, darling, love them. Okay, let's move into the bigger set, the bigger die. Gosh, and I kept this too. Could I stamp on this? Hmm. <laughs> hmm. About this to and from. So this one is super teeny tiny. There's my two. Oh, that one's a cute two though, too. Nope, I've got this one out. Go for it. Think long, think wrong. Let's ink up my little two. Look at how tiny it is. Can you see it on the block? Super small and cute, perfect for this. One, two, three, A, B, C, and up. Two. I'm going to lose the stamp set. I, I'm going to put it on another block because I know I need to put it away. And from. So even though they're Christmas sets, the two and the from you can use for anything. <laughs> Yay! And I bought lots of cute little things that they fit on. What a just a nice way to give somebody an easy gift. You go and you get them a nice bottle of hand lotion or a bottle of, you know, bath salts or or something like that and this just this just puts a cute little put a cute little tag on it darling all right let's move to the big one i like my colored pencils my blue where my blue goes and my black is where my red should be i'm the worst at putting them away though i just put them where i think they where they fit there's an empty slot that's where it goes Okay, let's take a look at the bigger one. Because the bigger one you have to have, well, you don't have to. This is going to do your main, and this is going to do your matting. Main, matting. If you don't want the matting, you can get just the main die, absolutely. I want to say it's $15 and then it's on sale. But if you want to be able to do the coordinating matting, you need the two. We do not have this one by itself. You either get the bundle or you just get this one. So we don't have the two. So let's go ahead and die cut. And this time we are going to use our full size pads because of the length of this die. Absolutely. And what do we want to play with this time? So let's pick our pattern paper out because on this one that's more important. That's so pretty. Hmm. Oh, look at that. Isn't that darling? With the snowflakes. I think I'm going to do this one.
and maybe the snowflakes. <laughs> I'll pull it out just because. And then let's bring over my paper. So. I want glitter? Do I want the dark blue glitter or do I want the dark blue pearl? Oh, okay. Glitter it is. <laughs> and then see, look it. Can you see how many you'd be able to get out of a sheet of paper? That's a wahoo could chew. two, three. You may be able to squeeze four out of a single sheet of paper. Uh-huh. Oh, yay. And then these will do here. So pretty. Love this paper. And again, I don't know if you can see it, but it's got little foils in the centers of the little red flowers and the blue flowers. They have little foily dots that just wink at you. They say hello, or they're in the blue dots. They say hello. They're not bling, they're flat, but they say, hello, how are you? So cute. All right, let's die cut. So I'm not gonna be able to use my medium pads because my die, is just too darn big. I could use the medium pad if I wanted to separate the mats, but I don't. So let's bring over our full size. I've got my do not cut plate and I've got a plate that has been cut into. Cut plate, do not cut plate. Although this one's getting a little warped and a little bit old, eventually this will rotate to a cut plate. But for now, we're going to continue forward. So let's put this one here. And let's put this one here. And cover it up and let's send it on through and see what we get. So I'm going through glitter paper. I may want to go back and forth. It cut the mini out okay. But if I want to be sure, I may end up going back and forth. Let's send it on through. It takes the plates at the same time. And out. And then do I want to roll it back just for good measure? Okay, just for good measure. So you can see it's not just falling out. I'm having to kind of pop it because it's on coated paper. It starts as white paper, but then they put the glitter coating down, and that's kind of a non-porousy material, so it's almost like a plastic. And you're asking a little dye, a little dye that has no blade to cut through the glitter and the adhesive and the plastic and the paper. That's asking a lot of a little guy. Now this is just plain paper, so easy peasy pops out. Don't forget, it's still in there. It took me a few minutes. <laughs> the first time I was doing these, when I got them, um, when I got the four in originally, I'm like, well, where did my piece go? Where, where did it go? I just have the circle. And I was like, oh yeah, it's still in there. So tweezers are gonna be very handy for that. And out it comes. I'm gonna save this because why not? It's a perfect circle, I can use it somewhere. Die, 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 good. I put them all away. Now I've got my base. It's got a score line waiting for you. Done. And now I can put my 
pretty little top right on it and I can decide which way I want it to go and then I can put my pretty little mat right on it so super easy so tape them down or sticky dot them down a good rub, pick up all of those dots that are there. It makes putting down intricate dies as simple as one, two, three. Pull this guy up first. It's got adhesive dots on the back. Line them on up. I didn't line them on up very good. <laughs> Let's try again. That's better. Give a good push down. Pull them out. Just darling. And then You're ready to give it as a gift. Put a two and a from, and you're good. But then you could also have done this in just a white tag and stamped. I could have stamped, well gosh, I could. It's a little too short. I have one that's not too short. Let's see. I could do him. Now I'm not going to get all of him. But I'm going to get enough that I can then take a star and put it right at the top. What if we cut him out? And my little plates are perfect for this. So let's bring them over. cut I think I'm gonna cut right there put my top plate on I'm using my minis send it on up and then send it on through So I've got him ready to go, super cute. Let's pick a piece of paper. Hmm. Too busy? Maybe, huh? Do I want him just on a piece of cardstock? just on a piece of how about we take just the back 
I'm not going to throw that away. Move those over. Grab my big one. Remember, go this way because you're going to get more than if you go this way. I'm going to use my big plates because I have a bigger die. No, oh, not that's right here. Good to go. Bring over my machine. Send them on through. This is an easy die. You don't have to rotate. You don't need a precision cut plate. You don't need any of that. This is an easy die to work with. The only time you may want to go backwards is if you're using a coated paper like that glitter paper that I was using. So I've got that as the back. I can put that as my front. Oh, so cute. Let's put it down. You would do a better job of taping down than me. I'm just going to get him down. You're saying, but he doesn't have a star on the tree. I know. By the time I'm done, he will. So I want to cut this down so it's not so big for me to handle. Remember to move your paper and not your scissors. Elbows on the table. If you can't fussy cut well, If you can't fussy cut well, elbows on the table, I will not tell mom you put your elbows on the table. By putting your elbows on the table, it forces you not to move your arms, making the scissors cut, making the scissors move. Put your elbows on the table and it forces you to move the paper. When you're fussy cutting, you don't move the scissors, you move the paper. You want to get into a good habit of that? Elbows on the table. So, elbows on the table. I need my glasses. And by doing that, I can't move. It's much harder to move my scissors. It's much easier to move my paper. It's forcing me to move my paper, which is letting you fussy cut so much easier. When you're trying to fussy cut and you're moving the scissors, oh, that's a challenge, that's a chore. This, no problem. And I'm just moving my paper. Elbows on the table. I won't tell if you won't tell. You want to be, you want to fussy cut well? Get used to moving your paper. It has a star now. <laughs> He's so cute! <laughs> I'm gonna make a little, I'm gonna make a little goober. What, okay, so what's a goober? I'm taking some of my adhesive tape and I'm gonna peel the liner off. So a goober is just what it sounds like when you were a kid 
and you made a goober. <laughs> now put it on the back. And then I'm going to press it in place. It makes it pop just a little bit. And now he's got a star on his tree. Yes, he does. Could even raise it just a little bit. And then on the back side, I've got this piece here. I've got this random piece there. I could put it here. It's on the back of this one. The blue, I don't like the blue. I could put that there and I could stamp the to and the from right there. I mean, options are plenty, although the blue kind of looks okay. You have options, oodles of them. What makes your heart happy? Love it with the stamps. Love it with the stamps. Can you do it with the mailboxes? Yeah, of course you can. Um, this mailbox is kind of, I've got room, right? So let's see. Of course you can do it with the mailboxes. Look at how perfect is that fit? I mean, that's just, they're just, it's just perfect. Okay, let's cut it. Well, what do we want to, what paper do we want to use? Because I've only got Christmas over here, but this is full. Hmm. That one would be fine. It's, I've got the balance of it over here. I think we could get away with that. I do, I do. I think if we take this one. And we go there. Or there at that point. This to go there and what do I want to do I even want to do anything at the top maybe I don't okay let's leave it let's cut bring my machine on over line me all up Yes, I don't. Okay, we'll go with it. You get the idea. Put it all the way at the bottom. Or I could kind of, no, I'm going to do that. Yep, that's what I'm going to do. Think long, think wrong, just go for it, Stacy. What's the worst that can happen? It is only paper. And send it on through. I don't need to go forward and back. It's just paper. I'm not doing anything special. No specialty papers here. Pop. And there's my extra piece. Here's my main tag, or my main bottle tag. Got a score line built in for you. What comes on? 
harvest. Here we go. Um, oh, <laughs> and it fits. Fran, I just love you. I do, I do, I do. You so get me. That one fits too. So I have, may you have a bountiful harvest or I have autumn leaves pumpkins, please. I think that's the one I'm going to use right there. Let's grab my little block. Oh, my to and my from, I don't want to lose before I sticky dot this time. <laughs> Don't put your finger in it. Don't stamp upside down. Autumn leaves, pumpkin, please. So cute. And then right on it, and I could take this one. Put my lid. Hello, lid. Or I could take another white and put to and from on the back. But man, that's stinking cute. Again, you'd do a better job than me of taping down. I'm just trying to get it down so you can see it. What else is on that one? Anybody see where I put it? I just had it half a second ago. Oh, hello. <laughs> See, now I'm not going to edit that out. <laughs> nope, I'm not going to edit that out. Oh, I should have left. Oh, look at how cute is this? Okay, wait, wait, wait. We're not quite done yet. Like it's just a tag. Well, I know, but it's it's you're giving it to somebody and you want it to be just as darling as it possibly could be, don't you? Let's try this one. She gives you two different leaves. Maybe too many leaves, but that's okay. I like it. <laughs> so now I've got falling leaves going down it. Super cute. <laughs> now I'll tape it down. Find whatever I'm going to put it on, and bam. Doesn't have to be a bottle. Oh, no, I have other things, but how cute is this? Right? They're just, they're absolutely darling. I love them. They make my heart happy. So we could do the fall. We did the fall with the cute little mailbox. We did the 
Christmas with my little gnome. They work. They work together and they work so well and they were never intended to. It, they didn't all get together and say, hmm, okay, Stampendous, I'm going to talk to, 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 um, to Hobby Gross about their simple and basic dies. I'm going to talk to them and see if I can get their simple and basic dies to look fabulous, you know, with my stamps. No, they didn't. Nobody talked to each other about this. Sizzix didn't say, oh, you know what? I'm going to call Stampendous and see if they can do some stamps that will go with our paper. No, if they, everybody just, when it all came together, the collaborations between the companies, between Scrapbooking Made Simple and the companies, me saying, hmm, I love this, would it work with that? And it does, and they make a few changes for me so that it can work. And then the, the paper, and they make a few changes so that it all works together. If it wasn't for the manufacturers willing to, to, to help me navigate, I would never be able to do these, ever. I just, I wouldn't, and that's so cute. I want to put something on him, but I just don't know what because it's just so darling. But what if I took you think the fit? that there and that down there oh I don't know I worry about ruining it but it is so cute You've got holiday. What does this one say? From our home to yours. Gosh, if I had if I had embossing powder, I would use embossing powder. That way it would stand out more. But I don't. So we're just gonna go for it. Our home to yours. And I'll put it there. So let's stamp it up really quick. Wait a minute, Stacy. I have, wait a minute, <laughs> back up. I've got them backwards. Oh, <laughs> that would have been very amusing. <laughs> what is it? Read twice, stamp once. Okay, let's read twice, stamp once. Let's try again. So from our home to yours. And then we'll do the little motif. Let's see what the motif looks like before I stamp it. Oh, cute. Cute. Gosh, and if I had done this in gold embossing powder or silver embossing powder, it would have been even better. So from our home to yours, I would have absolutely done it in embossing powder. It would have just 
burst in silver. But just using the cute little motifs that they come with. All right. Okay, so we, we made a little bit of a mess on my table, but we did it together and we had fun doing it. We started with our stamps, with our gnome, and using colored pencils and how easy it is to use the Gamsol with our colored pencils. Just easy peasy. We've got the five different mini slim line. So you can use them with your mini slim line dies, but you don't have to. You can use them with the, the, the bottle tag, but you don't have to. So five of them, four of them are Christmas, one of them is fall. Those will be on an I want it all. Then we have five different mailboxes. Four of them are Christmas, one of them is fall. They're all different, well, winter and Christmas and then a fall. Those will be on an I want it all. So if you want both, you gotta do the two I want it alls. Then we started with the dies. And the dies were just magic. If you like the big tag and you want the mat for it, it's being sold as a bundle. If you just like the big tag all on its own and you don't want to do the matting, you don't have to. You could cut this in white and stamp away in color. We have this one on its own, but if you want it with the mat, of course they're going to come together. And then we had the super cute Uber mini one Christmas greetings and to and from just easy ready to go 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 buy your when you have a, to get a lot of gifts for people you know this is an easy way let's say you make toffee mm, love toffee and you bundle it in the bag and then you put this over the top of the bag and you tie the bow over it you're doing cookies, you're doing baked goods for the holiday. Put it in the bag, pull the bag up, and then put a beautiful tie it with a beautiful bow, and there you go. This is easy and pretty and effective and handmade, done. So simple. So the mini comes with the two. We are, we are, I, I know I, you're probably tired of me saying it, but we are limited in what we have. That's just true across the world right now. <laughs> It just is what it is. So, so we did those, we did the big tags that just made our heart happy. And again, it doesn't have to go on a bottle. Lots of things you can put these on. I love him with his little star. Lots of things these can go on. So we, we also have, oh here, we talked about the Sizzix, you've got a worldwide, see I told you I made such a mess, oh my gosh. We have the worldwide launch on the new Sizzix holiday paper. 80 sheets of paper, retails for $34.99. Yeah, it's double-sided and you do get several sheets that are, are foiled. So the blue is foiled and the plaid has got foiling and I know the the snowflakes are foiled. You get several foil pages. So, you know, that, that will uh, be one of the reasons for the price. And you can see the foil on the cover. But we bundled it with muted because the muted cardstock went so well with it. And instead of your $34 or $35 and your $23, you're getting them both for, what was it? $39.99. So it's like getting this one for five, like five bucks. Okay, not bad. Um, what else did we do? Colored pencils, I'm not gonna put them on a YouTube Yummy right now because they've been on a YouTube Yummy and I think most of you have them. Um, the Gamsol, we won't put on a YouTube Yummy. I am gonna, I have 48 more of these coming in. These are the pencil sharpeners for our watercolor pencils and our colored pencils. I was able to get 48 more. If you already have yours on order, it is they are already here. I have 48 more shipping in, yay. Well then let, let's just talk about what's on sale. Okay, so pencil sharpener is like $3.70 and that's what it is. It's a good one, I like it, I'm happy with it. It's not the Brunzil, but I can't get the Brunzil and James took it back, he just did. We will have the cutting mats. 
So we're selling them in the pack of two and I've explained my reasoning why. You can certainly wait and get them in a pack of one. Right now we're only doing the two pack because well, you're getting two for $23.10. That's an amazing value. And that will then give you two of the small. It'll give you two of the meeting that I was using, the two of the small that are here somewhere and two brand new full size plates for $23.10. That's a deal. If you love the Tim Holtz plates, by all means, go ahead and grab them. We have those two and the I'm keeping the Tim Holtz on sale. The only difference is the packaging. So once you open them up and you throw away the liner, there's, you're not gonna be able to know that they're Tim's or, or Sizzix branded, and they're the same. However, if you are looking for the extended plates for your sidekick, these are not them. You do need the specific Tim plates. They are his colors. They, he did come up with the idea. He is amazing with that, and we needed him so badly. We're so thankful, but this, this is not them. You'll have to buy the extended plates and those are specifically under his brand. Okay, so we've got those on sale. The paper is on sale. The stamps are on sale. So I did the cute little gnome. And then we have the beautiful bird love this one and it says Merry Christmas to you this would be perfect on the front of one of the bottle tags we've got gift so cute and this is cute on the front of the bottle tag and the cute little the cute little camper trailer and the the truck with the Christmas tree and then I have got a fall so you've got a cute little kitty with his the pumpkins so these are sold individually or an I want it all bundled entirely up to you. And if none of them speak to you, well, that's okay too. I'm hoping you learned something here today that you can take along with you in your crafty journal journey. Then we have, <laughs> then we have the mailboxes. And again, we've got four that are winter Christmas and one that is fall. So this one's got the pretty little cardinal birds and the more scripty saying. Here we've got, you've got holiday mail, you've got merry mail. It's got the little Christmas lights wrapped all around it. Darling. This one has got the two in the from. It's got sending merry mail with the postmark. It's got packages all the way around it. I love it's got the little stamp, or the little um, stamp to go around your stamp. <laughs> I've got the other Christmas. The last Christmas has a big wreath going around it from our home to yours. You've got the cute little bird and just darling and little packages and mail stuffed in the mailbox. And then the fall one, which has got the pumpkins and the mailbox with the corn coming off of it and the milk can. So really cute. And again, these will be as an I want it all. Or you can just get the one that you love the most. Or if you didn't care for any of them, not a problem. That's all good too. Then we have the dies. So the mini sold by itself. The tag sold by itself. The big one, the big, the large version the tag and the matting sold together. Only way you can get the matting is if you buy the big tag. And then last but not least, I've got the original. We've done this one before. This is an envelope for your mini slim lines. So we've done this one before. I've shown it before, but if you don't have it, it's a really good idea to get it because every one of the mini slim line stamps that we sell is meant to fit. Yay. And then we found these. <laughs> I bought these thinking that they were acetate. They're not, it's hunky dory. And they are uh, snowflakes that punch out on cardstock and they're foiled. So the girls made some samples. We have just a few of them. We're gonna put them up and when they're gone, they're gone. But we found them, I thought they were acetate. So when I did my acetate YouTube, I was gonna use them, but then they weren't acetate. So let's get to samples. 
I have, I showed you the gift, super cute. Put a little gift card in there and you are good to go. And here we have the mailbox. Now this is done on a card and not done on an envelope. I showed you this one earlier. And then here it is on the envelope. So you decorate the envelope and inside is the card, right? Decorate the envelope and then they open it up and there's the card. Just super cute. So here to make the frame are the corners. I almost used this one, the corners. And then the center piece, you've got centers and, or is this one just, oh no, you've got corners and centers. Just beautiful. And again, your mailbox. They're not just for envelopes, folks, but they're super cute on an envelope. It just sets the stage, as they say. And look at this one. So they just fussy cut and trimmed this out. This is part, I used that Christmas greetings or greetings of Christmas on one of my tags. And this would fit a cute little a picture, maybe your holiday picture or a gift card. Just a little pocket. And that comes with in one of the mailboxes. And then here you have Autumn Leaves Pumpkin Please in a card. Nothing to do with an with, uh, envelope. And then gift, and see this is done in the gold embossing powder and it just pops. And then it is in the envelope. So this little envelope is this die right here. And you can either do an envelope this way, or you can tape it down a little differently and do a coin envelope. Your choice. How cute is that? Just embossed with embossing powder. Here we go. Oh, and this is the Sizzix paper, and they blinged it out. If I didn't know any better, I would think that that would be Renee but I could be wrong. <laughs> SMS girl Renee with the bling. <laughs> I don't know, maybe, I don't know, but I think so, but I could be wrong. Isn't he darling? That's on the Sizzix paper. And here, look at this. So here you've got an envelope. Not everything is colored in, not everything. You don't have to color in everything. And then look at the back. It just says, open me. You're just, you're smiling the minute you get it. And then here, let's continue. So the little light bulbs come with the envelope. So they did a border out of the light bulbs or with the mailbox. And then you've got the mailbox here. So these, this is a border stamp that comes with it. Nothing to do with doing an envelope, but it sure is cute. And here is the fall mini slimline. Oh, isn't that darling? And that fall mini slimline will fit inside the envelope. It's just, they're just, they're meant to be. And then here, a slimline envelope. Look at hooray, you've got you've got holiday mail, you've got two, you've got you've got Mary Mail. They did for the stamp from how fun, right? <laughs> They're so cute. Okay, let's see. Mini slimline on a slimline card. made a whole scene out of the mailbox stamp. Made a whole scene because you get so much with it. 
Look at this one. This is done all out of the Sizzix paper. And it's done in gold embossing powder and just lightly colored. And bling! <laughs> so cute! Just lightly colored and done in a gold embossing powder. You've got the Sizzix Muted Opulent. You've got the Sizzix New Christmas. Oh, and this one's also done with the Sizzix New Christmas. And gold embossing powder. And is this one done with the Sizzix New Christmas? I don't know. It might be. <laughs> I'm not sure. <laughs> They're cute, though. And they just fussy cut. No, I don't think this one is. I think this is other paper. They just fussy cut right along. Elbows on the table. And see, I love this. This is the little bird. I think that's just beautiful. So pretty. And look at the envelope. It's distressed up, stamped, and then lightly colored. It's the distressing on the edges that gives it that look. And then we've got here, and this is, this they did at the coin edge. So here's the envelope. They did the back too. And instead of making it um, a regular fold, they did a coin edge. Same envelope, same die, two different ways of doing it. And then you can fit your mini slimline in. Okay, and then I have got a host of tags. We did this one together, and we did this one together, and we did this one together, and I think I stole this one off of a bottle. So let's grab a bottle. Oops, I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna tilt on back and show you all of the and on a nice big wine bottle and they did this one ready to go and stamped to and from here let's grab this one look at this isn't this cute so done with gold embossing powder and all the different bits from the the uh, mailbox this is from the fall mailbox because it's got the little the little uh pheasants. Yes, may you have a bountiful harvest. Oh, and look it. I bet Claire did that on purpose. <laughs> I'm sure. <laughs> and they did the top. Just so cute. But then, wait, we change it up. And now we've got something a little more modern. Hmm. But wait, then we change it up. Hmm. <laughs> can you see all the ideas that can be done with these? But wait. Maybe you just have a little gift for somebody. Maybe just a little something. I grabbed an ice out of the refrigerator. <laughs> Should be Perrier, right? If you're going to do that, at least give them a Perrier <laughs> with a cute little tag on it. Or I can take that tag off and it doesn't have to be for Christmas at all. Ooh. Or I can take this one away Ooh. and I can bring over my cute body wash. Cute little Christmas gift for somebody. Or a little birthday gift or just a little thank you gift. And we've got cute little body wash for somebody. Or I could bring over my bath salts. Cute little gift for somebody and swap that out 
and put that one on. Or <laughs> I cut my little tag down and I've got a cute little bottle of nail polish, which is this little tiny tag on it. You can put two in from, I just cut the bottom <laughs> for nail polish. Uh -huh. Then you start going to the dollar store and you start looking, huh, what else can I put a tag on? So these are the hunky dory pop out snowflakes on the Sizzix paper on an inexpensive bottle of water. And then I have here, look at how cute. So maybe you find some holiday little sippers. You're having a party, you make one for everybody, put their name on it, and then as they're walking around, you know who belongs to who, you, they get their name on it. Right? Cute. But then I have this one. Cute little mug, sipper, great for the kids, great little party favor, and they can be for any time of the year. I could move that one, and if it was 4th of July, there we go. <laughs> great for any time of the year. You can see I went to the Dollar Tree, I had fun. And then another little bottle of water. Which could go really cute on the bath salts. You just mix and match. What makes your heart happy? Look at, I've got a little, look at the tiny one, the mini one. So this is a mini one on body mist. Just a mini one. That's what I was using on the Gamsol. And it also fits, <laughs> it also fits Ozzy Andrews Turbo Mister. <laughs> so yeah, we had a good time with these. We did, oh, here's another little bottle of of like little oils, bath oils with the mini. We had fun. The girls had a great time. I had a great time. I think they're just beautiful. All right, you guys. Well, I hope you had a good time today. I hope you learned something new. I hope you are willing to branch on out. I hope you see why I love these little dyes so much. I was so disappointed when they were sold out, but they got them in for me. Bless their pea picking hearts. And thank you to Tada! It's Taylor for the amazing deal I have on all the Sizzix product. And thank you to Fran from Stampendous for all of the amazing stamps the mini slim lines and the mailbox stamps. I mean, everybody, it all just came together. And the mailbox stamps were supposed to be in earlier YouTube, but we held them and Fran said, absolutely, because I wanted this other product. To, it all just came together in a big, beautiful box with a shiny bow on top of it and said, poof. <laughs> YouTube number 457. So where are you going to find all of this great product? Well, we do not have the stamps exclusively. So if you have a local independent retailer that carries Stampendous, go visit them. Tell them you want these stamps and have them special order them for you if you they don't already have them. Shop with them. Absolutely. Yes, we value your business. Yes, we're a for-profit business, but we are also a for our industry business and we support the independents because that is who we are. We're the little, the little engine that just kept going like every other mom and pop business out there, no matter what industry they're in. So if you get the opportunity to shop local, shop local. The dyes, the dyes you might only be able to find here right now because they're not a big brand. It's not well known, but I love them. And then the, 
the paper from Sizzix. The Christmas is a worldwide launch here at Scrapbooking Made Simple, yes, as are the cutting plates, the, the cutting plates. So if you want the two for the $23, by all means grab them. We do have the Tim as well, and we've got a special on those. I'm gonna leave all of the Tim Chapter 3 up through Monday. You have to have your order in by Monday to get it expedited. And by the time several of you are watching this, your orders, because they were placed when it launched on Friday, last Friday, your orders are already being worked on. So it is me, Stacy, Scrapbooking Made Simple, scrapbookingmadesimple.com saying thank you so much for spending your time with me. Thank you so much for allowing me to do what I really love and just having a great play date with you. I'll see you again next week, okay? 8 a.m. sunny California time, 11, 10 a.m. central, 11 a.m. eastern, or 4 p.m. in the United Kingdom. Bye, everybody.